the controversy around Joe Rogan is a test case for Spotify. And it's a really difficult balancing act. On the one hand, it relies upon artists for the vast majority of what it is today, but it relies on podcasts for what it hopes to be the majority of what it will be in the future. Daniel Eck, the CEO, wrote an open letter that ran yesterday explaining uh, the steps that they were taking to make their content policy more transparent. Uh, aside from that, I don't see them, you know, altogether banning Joe Rogan or going against their biggest star. So fundamentally, Spotify has a huge amount of cultural capital. That is its soft power. And that is what is at risk, is if more artists essentially try to push more of their fans to other places, they don't even need to take their music down from Spotify. They just need to encourage their music fans to listen elsewhere. That is what could dent Spotify's cultural impact 